It's live with Regis and Kelly. Today, he's one of the biggest names in the business, the one and only Arnold Schwarzenegger. And from the new movie Rollerball, actress Rebecca Romaine Stamos. Plus, Regis Redo Week continues as Regis gets a rock and roll makeover. All next on Live. Now, here are Regis Philbin and Kelly Ripa. <laughs> Every day is a new and improved region. Uh, he wanted uh, this, uh, this, this best look, I think, my personal favorite, rock and roll. What's this for? We're having problems with my mic. So I thought I'd sing you a little something. <laughs> we, we wanted a new and improved rock and roll Regis. You got him. Here he comes. Rock and roll Regis. <laughs> What do you think? I love it. Look at this coat here. I love it. Art, Art Moore would kill for Eat this coat. Eat your heart out, Art Moore. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Oh, God, the longest week of my life. I'm sorry. No, I think you look great. And on the audience is stunned again, Gelman. See, they're not used to it. <laughs> they are stunned they into into silence. silence for 60 minutes. No, no, it's not yeah, true. Yeah, no, yesterday's audience sat like this for the whole show. <laughs> It was just, yesterday was Euroglam. Euroglam. Today is rock and roll. Region. I like rock and roll. This is different than what I had expected really? for rock and roll. Well, yes. they have to wear the coat, you know. Yes. And so this is it. See, I went military because you've been a naughty, naughty boy. You're going to drop and give me 20. You don't say that when you're talking to a rock and roll star. You've been a naughty star. <laughs> naughty. I'm sorry, sorry, folks. But anyway, one more day of this in tomorrow's country, Regis, and then it's over. <laughs> my spine. No one is more fun doing this than Gelman because every morning he dresses me like I'm his baby. <laughs> he comes Who's in. the baby? <laughs> Who's the big baby? He, he comes in and oh he takes such pain. Oh he loves to put the earrings on me. It, it's really scary. It really is. Okay. And it all ends after tomorrow's show. Really? Now I got a lot of faxes. A Would lot of faxes. Would you like faxes. to hear some faxes? Sure. Because they are sure. very interesting. Hey Regis. Can't Dump the Euroglam look. You look like Truman Capote. I like that one. That's I hope you find fact. this a refreshing idea, Regis. Keep the hair, lose the clothes. Gelman, lose the hair, keep the clothes. <laughs> That's funny. Here's a very interesting one here. Uh, it's from uh, Janine uh, Larson. Mm -hmm. She says, the Euro style looks great on you. And so does the urban look. You remind me of my old father. This woman's 70 years old. <laughs> Because you father. have the same personality. I often dress my father up in different styles. That is so Norman Bates. Because Bates. he lets me do whatever I want, just like Gilman is doing to you. I even put his hair in berets at time to make him look like I was when I was a little girl. <laughs> sounds like a Betty Davis movie, it, doesn't it? It, yeah. really, it sounds like her father can't defend himself anymore. Regis, you're handsome and sexy and clothes make the man... Hats and purses you must forever... You're definitely the man. Yeah. Hats and purses you must forever ban. Gelman, don't make Rage look so prissy and drunk, or else your ratings will definitely go kerplunk. No. No, ma'am, I'm sorry. You're wrong. <clears throat> ma'am, making Regis look strange and odd has become America's favorite pastime. <laughs> you remember that uh, purse I wore yesterday? Your man purse? Yeah. Yes. You want to take a shot of the purse? 
Ah, there it is. Regis, you look like a Teletubby with a purse. Oh. <laughs> Regis looks like Elton John wants to be. Uh, like an Elton John wannabe. Pre please bring back the regular Regis. Next week, next week. Regular Regis. Yes. Very sad, Gelman, what we've done. Oh, here, you know what, but guess what? Yesterday's look, I lost Gelman's mother. Yes. Gelman's mother thought I was hot the first two days. <laughs> she was about to leave Gelman's father. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, thank God the family's reunited again because... Thank goodness. <laughs> Gelman's mother lost interest. <laughs> But I got another Rhoda, Rhoda from Rockland. Go right. ahead, read that one, Rhoda baby. Rhoda from Rockland thinks Regis is hot. My husband, Barry, keeps reminding me of the old AT&T commercials with Ravishing Rhoda from Rockland. So, Ravishing Rhoda from Rockland thinks Regis is hot. See that? She's not the only Rhoda. Your mother isn't the only Rhoda. Hey, look at that. She left your phone number. Oh, right? good. Yeah. In case, in case you want to give Rock and Rhoda a call. <laughs> Regis, love, lose the hat, go back to being a tough guy. Kelly, don't change a thing. Aww. Lefty. Lefty? Yeah. Don't change a thing. Anyway, I thank you very much for all of these. Oh. Uh, That's very funny. Yeah. Lefty is... Lefty is the nickname that my dad calls me. Oh, really? I wonder if that's somebody that Are you left-handed? No, but my dad just calls me Lefty oh. ever since I was little. Oh. We don't know why. Lefty. And he calls my sister Soupy Sales. Interesting. No, I just thought you'd like to know a little. Regis, your hair looks like red buttons. Thank you. Uh, Gilman, this was the biggest mistake we've ever made. No, I think it's working. Regis. Don't, don't read your negative mail. Some people are tuning up by the droves. Why didn't you hand him any positive facts? You only I did. He's him? not reading those. He's in a negative mood. Oh, right. I see. Sorry, Gilman, but Regis looks ridiculous. Hey. Halloween is a long way off. Oh. I hope, dear Regis, I hope this midlife crisis you're currently going through passes quick. <laughs> Not my idea. Thought I made that clear to you. Sorry, the orange suit is fit only for a bad Mike Myers movie. <laughs> Enough abuse, Regis. Ah, oh, Gelman, please let Regis back to get back to his own dignified self. These outfits are for young jerks. <laughs> You may have destroyed my career, Gilman. It could be. Forty years I worked like a dog to make a career. And you took it down in three days. Anyway, it's over. Well, I, I have a feel, I hate to break it to you, but I think that these faxes are not representing the majority because we have thousands upon <clears throat> thousands upon thousands of uh, yeah, online what, voting. What, what's the voting been otherwise. so far? Uh, so far, the Monday Hollywood tough guy look yeah. has beaten your everyday look by uh, 1,900 votes. All right. Yeah. Your Tuesday urban hip-hop look uh, beat your everyday look by 4,000 votes. I'm afraid to say that your everyday look beat your Euro glam look That's by right. about 2,000 votes. Right. Whole idea slowly losing steam. Well, don't forget to register your favorite Regis look online. You can go to www.liveregisandkelly.com. Last night I went to uh, the Waldorf. There was a, a nice uh, dinner for, uh, for New York, really. New York was the star of the show last night put on by the Museum of Television and Radio. Yes. They honored New York. And all the shows that uh, have been about New York over the years, you know how they like to make New York the backdrop for... The, are you listening to me? For the settings? <laughs> You're looking at my earring, and I'm just wondering. You I'm know? just wondering if you pierced your ear. That's uh -huh. all. I'm, I'm listening. I it, can look at you and listen at the same time. So they honored all of those shows mm -hmm. that uh, were about New York or were made here in New York. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's great. They forgot one, though. What? Ours. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Eight, eight, no respect! <laughs> 18 years live from New York. Well, what did they honor? Educational programming? That's ridiculous. <laughs> no, they honor a lot of shows. You know, let them in, the honeymooners. Are you on any of these committees? See, this is your mistake. You've got to get on some of these committees, and they'd honor our show. <laughs> right? Wrong. Why? Why, why do you think wrong? Well, I, I don't know about that, but all I know is that uh, it was a nice night, though. We had a wonderful time. What did you eat? <laughs> they had the big um, sirlo um, prime rib. Was that what it was, Art? I don't think so. Yeah. Art was there. Prime rib we had. Yeah. You took Art as your date? 
No, no. Uh, Art was there. He, I didn't see him, but he was there. I have to show you this. This woman, Tammy Romero. Yeah. Um, she's a jewelry designer. Look at my necklace. She shrunk down a... Can you get a little closer than that? That's a picture of the baby. Can you get in closer than that so people can see what I'm talking about? Mm. It's a picture of my children. Oh. Like a shrinky dink. She shrinky yeah, dinked it sure. down. Looks nice. Isn't that cute? Very cute, yeah. That's very cute. So pretty. <laughs> it is pretty, yes. Yeah. <laughs> But well, when you have a necklace like this... I'm sorry. Do you know what happened? We, we stopped talking about Regis for a second, so he, his interest waned. Go ahead. We're back. I'm back. No, I just couldn't You're think... getting very cranky in your rock and roll look. No, not at all. You're I... becoming a, a rock star who's angry, and you, you want to smash a guitar against something. <laughs> no, against someone. But anyway... <laughs> No, I said it was nice. It looks very adorable. Yes, and uh, so uh, uh, you got your little saying out. Where do you go from there? Nothing. I was just. I was well, just. That's what I said it was very nice. I, I. Yes. Okay. That's it. That's all I have to say to you now. That's all you have. That's all I have. You just want to show us your necklace, and that's it. Nothing you did last night. I said I went to the museum. I. You don't want to hear about what I did. Oh. Oh. Well, sounds like a. That, that's exactly what we want to hear. No. No. No, you don't. You really don't. It's so boring what I did. Nothing good. What does that say? Here it is. I wanted to tell you about a cottage drinking game that is sweeping the Midwest. Kids are taping your show and playing the tape in the evenings. The rule is that everyone takes a drink each time Kelly runs her fingers through her hair. <laughs> My nephew, now this, this guy is in college, his nephew. Right well, now the kids are totally minute. stoned. Um, can, I, can I ask a question? Yeah. Our show is on at 9 a.m. Are they, they drinking at 9 a.m.? No, no, no. Oh, they, no. Tape they, tape they tape it, it. Oh, they tape and it. play it back oh, in the evening. Terrific. And the rule is that everybody takes a drink when you play with your hair. And my nephew... <laughs> Take the car keys <laughs> away from everybody at this party. Speaking of hair, here's the guy that has the record for the longest ear hair. Oh! oh. Four you know. inches. Four inches. Take a look at this beauty. Here he is right there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> See, Gilbert, we're killing ourselves to get an audience with this. All we need is long hair. Yeah. Uh, if he can hear things. <laughs> you know what else I wonder? <clears throat> Why doesn't he just cut that hair out of his ears? I mean... He likes it. You know how some people get attached to the whatever whatever they have going for them? This is what he has. You gotta get it. No, that's just it's so wrong on so many levels. Oh. Well, I mean, women, you know, we're required to wax and shave everything. And a man can have ear hair hanging like, like tendrils. Like, now, you have ear hair. Let me take a look. I do not have ear hair. Do you hair. cut it every day? or? No, I don't have any. I have no ear hair. You mean hair. ear hair doesn't grow in women? Well, I'll be I don't know. I don't. Not me. You've never had any ear hair? No ear hair at all. Well, that's pretty incredible. I didn't know that. See, that's one thing we have that, well, there's a couple of things we have you don't have. <laughs> And all right. There's a couple of things that we have that you Yes, have. you sure do. Now, did you notice the traffic yesterday? I mean, I love having the president here and, you know, and all that, but boy, the traffic sure goes down. It was murder. And he was on the prowl yesterday, coming, going all around the city. And so every eight blocks where he is in the area of, shut down. Right. And boy, does it create. Well, you were over on the east side. Yeah, I went over to the yeah, east that's, side. Uh, that's always You know, when I really go out anymore, I just stay here on the west side where I belong. And I never go out. And the first day I went out, he was in town, and they got me. They got you. Well, they he did say, you. he did reiterate, when I say 20 billion, I mean 20 billion. And you're going to get the 20 billion to rebuild the world. <laughs> and, and we can use it, believe me, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I, um... I wonder how they divvy that up, the money. You know, like where, you know, how it's allotted. I, I just hope everybody is getting what they're supposed to be getting because, you know, a lot of contributions came in. 
Yes. And who knows? Where it goes. Yeah, exactly. Who, who, where, yeah. Now, we're about to marry a couple people here on the show, you know that? I know, and yeah, it's not it's you and me, it's two other people. <laughs> two other unsuspecting souls. Yeah, what yeah. sign are you? I'm a Libra. Yeah, Libra's a good we, sign. Yeah, Libra's a great sign. Yeah. We get along with everyone. You get along with Virgos, that's me. I have yet to meet a person I don't like. Well, you're the first one I've met that, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Valentine's Day, marrying another couple on our show, the proud members. Listen you to are going to get yours. Two, two police officers getting married right here on the show, yeah. <laughs> Sergeant David Paul Zimmer and officers Oreda Cappy Natal. They met on the job. They've been together for seven years, getting married right here. After their engagement this past summer, their wedding plans were uh, in full swing. And, and then September 11th came, and we will hear more about their story when we meet them next week. It's a very touching story. Yesterday we announced the other couple. The first couple will be 2nd Lieutenant James Queen, U.S. Marine Corps, and his fiancée, Frances Morgan, from North Carolina, married here Tuesday, February 12th. Uh, the lieutenant's um, marine unit is about to be deployed overseas, and so we'll meet them for the first time tomorrow, and that should be a, a nice couple as well. So I think you got two good couples, Gilman. Very nice. Did the right thing yeah, by them, no, the wrong thing by me, but that's okay. okay. Wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> poor guys, do it again. Let's get them really nuts. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder what school this is. <laughs> do you think this is? Put your hand down like that. There used to be a Dick Tracy character years ago. You never saw his face. You just saw his <laughs> What was the name of that character? The Dick Tracy character with the hair came down over his face. You never saw his face. Hair Malloy Faxes. or something? Yeah, Hair Malloy, something like that. Something like that. Hey, today on the show, the one, the only, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> the very beautiful, very talented, Rebecca Romaine Stamos. Rollerball. Yeah. Did you see the first rollerball? It was a few years ago. A few years James ago? James Kahn. Many years ago. It was like 25 years ago, yeah. Right. Anyway, they re remade the movie and Rebecca's in it. And let's see. Oh, yeah, the rock and roll look. We're going to talk about that with June Ambrose. I like, I like this shirt. That's, this uh, is great. This, I said, come on, are you sure? He said, oh, yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. This is very really hot. Yeah. Uh, this is not the shirt. This is hair from my chest. Coming through the shirt. <laughs> this, is, this is ear hair, which has... <laughs> Itself. Travel trivia, let's go! I don't know. All right, Sally Matty from um, Duluth, Minnesota. Hi, Sally. Hello, Sally. Sally? Hello, Sally. Hello, Sally. Hi, Sally. Hello, you know what? She doesn't like rock and roll rangers. She hung up. Just heard it. No, I'm here. Oh, good. Hi. All right. Nice to talk with you. Duluth, well, that's one of the coldest spots in the country, isn't it? Um, not today. It's like 40 degrees here. It's that warming trend Gelman warned us about years ago. He was so concerned he was wringing his hands, and now it's here. Uh, Sally, what's the regular temperature there about this time of year? Um, usually about... Four or five degrees. Four or five. So you're degrees. about forty-five degrees above uh, what you should be, and it's have a you had, heat wave. Yeah, have yes. you had much snow? Um, no, we don't have much snow. It's probably too cold to snow there in Duluth usually. No, we last year we got quite a bit of snow, but this it's year we haven't trend. had much. Mm. It's the end of us all. The warming trend, Gelman. You, El Nino. You know what's so funny is it's not funny. That's what's so funny. You make a joke about this, but you'll see one day. I'm not. I see it right now. I'm, I'm capitulating. I'm saying we're all in danger. Run for your life. Forget about travel trivia. Let's get out of here. <laughs> we're going to spin the wheel, Maddie. See what you know. Maddie, how about Las Vegas, Nevada, huh? Oh, my gosh. That, that sounds great. Sure. Sally, Las Vegas, you know, that's where I got married. Oh, really? Yeah, you, know, you can, you can uh, renew your vows there, you in, know? In a phone I booth could. by the Texaco station. Right, in a phone booth. <laughs> right. It's still on the strip. That's right. <laughs> we'll be married 15 years this year, so maybe we'll do that. Renew your vows. Go over to Chapel of the Bells. The, they do a really... It's a little phone booth. It, you know, <laughs> it only hurts for a second. You're in, you're out. You never knew what hit you. Anyway, uh, you're staying at Caesar's Palace seven days and six nights. It includes mm. two 
spa treatments, round trip airfare on American Airlines. It's a prize valued at $4,700. Sally, you have 20 seconds and only one guess. Good luck. Yesterday, show aid actress Amy Brenneman, what did she say her mother did for a living? Was she a judge? That's yes. right, you got it. Congratulations, you and a guest will fly a round trip to Las Vegas on American Airlines, where they have more room for more coach passengers. While in Las Vegas, you'll enjoy a seven-day, six-night stay at Caesars Palace. Experience lavish accommodations, exquisite dining, Las Vegas excitement, and the grandeur of Caesars Palace. Your prize is valued at $4,700. Hey, uh... Sally, congratulations. Now you can help a lucky member of this studio audience receive a $250 gift certificate to Omaha States. So please pick a number between 1 and 143. Hello? Yes, Sally, pick a number between 1 and 143. Sally, leave us. Sally. Sally said I won my trip and I'm hanging up the phone. Sally, are oh, you there? I'm here. Yeah, yeah well, yes, pick I'm here. Sally, pick a number between 1 and 143. Please, you're getting on everybody's nerves. Uh, no, I tried. I'm going to pick number 8. 8, eight. number 8. Thank you. Uh, there you go. Thank you. I can't wait to show off in front of Arnold Schwarzenegger. I know, I'm very excited. Well, you know, Arnold yeah, takes a afraid. look at this. For once, Arnold is going to want to be somebody else. That's he's gonna wanna, right. He's going to want to be Rock and Roll Regis. We'll be right back yes. with him in a moment. Still ahead on live, we'll hear how you can get that Rock and Roll Regis look as Regis Redo We continue. Actress Rebecca Romaine Stamos coming up next, Arnold Schwarzenegger. J'avais du mal à trouver le café. General Foods International Coffees. You've seen this before. But never with a diaper like this. Introducing new cloth-like love. They're fluffy soft. And best of all, still tough as ever on leak. New cloth like love. Live and learn and then get love. Honey, you're going to be late for school. Gee, Mom, my throat hurts. I don't know if I can go to school. Chloroseptic. It works fast. Maybe too fast. Try new grape chloroseptic for kids. Snow Dogs is the funniest movie of all time. Okay, I might be a little biased. It's America's number one comedy three weeks in a row. I just said this was soup. Well, there's soup in it. Disney Snow Dogs, rated PG, now playing. Trendy, romantic. Trendy, romantic. It's the Pier 1 bedroom sale. Hurry in now and save 15 to 30% on stuff like headboards, dressers, and armoires. Feel it. I feel it. Feel it. Mm, I feel it. The Pier 1 bedroom sale. Winter means flakes. We're not talking snow, we're talking winter dandruff. The colder it gets, the worse dandruff gets. Neutrogena T-Gel Intensive Anti-Flake Shampoo fights dandruff three ways. Stop winter dandruff. Neutrogena T-Gel. It works. We're just a couple of empty nesters. Discover a new world of intimacy with KY Liquid Lubricant. Smoother, thanks to its hydro-liquid formula. Just the two of us. In an empty house. KY Liquid, the number one doctor-recommended brand. Well, little snow flurries coming down here in New York. They say it may turn to rain later on. Kind of a gloomy day here. Tomorrow on the show, Kevin Sorbo will be here. And from Rollerball, Chris Klein. And Redo Week continues. It's the end of Redo Week, everybody. <laughs> With country chic look. Yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait for Arnold to come out here. I, I'm going to blow him away when he sees me like this. <laughs> He's going to be so enchanted with me. I wish Arnold was here to see you in chaps. That's what I wish. Chaps and nothing else, if I may make a country recommendation. He loves boots, incidentally. Wait till I show him my white no, boots. No, I got these just for Arnold. No, 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 no. no. He, 
Uh, I'll bet he likes my boots I bet he likes mine better. Okay, we'll see. One of the most successful uh, uh, movie stars in all box office history. Yes. You know, his movies, uh, not only acts, he directs, he produces, he's, he's in business, community service, along with 13 world bodybuilding titles. The one of the only, the Austrian Oak, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> We wore them just for you. Here we are. Here we are saying who's got the best food. Arnold has the And it turns out that Arnold's got the best food. Let's check these out, Arnold. Let's see. Oh, my. Wow, you're really into boots, huh? I'm into boots. This is a Christmas gift from my wife. Oh, really? She They're has beautiful. A good taste, and yes. you know, it takes a half a year to build those. They were built by Falcon Heads. They make those hand tools, the uh -huh. whole thing, silver wow. and the leather and a all this stuff. A half a year to build yeah, your yeah. shoes. Yeah, half a year to make those shoes. They got to like be twenty-six, twenty-seven dollars, right? They uh, actually, I got them for a deal for fifty-two dollars. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> now, <laughs> now, are people afraid to make things like that for you? Are they afraid that you're going to come in as maybe the Terminator? if they screw it up and don't get it right? Well, they know there's big, big trouble if, if, they, if they screw it up, exactly. So they, make it, they better make it by hand right. when they say so, and mm -hmm. they measure the feet and to do the whole kind of a thing. But, you know, it's fun, and I have like 20-some pairs of, of boots, uh -huh. and I love all this. And so I said to myself, today I have to have this on because it's a special week uh -huh. where you guys dress up as different characters. Yes, today you're like sure. a, a rock and roll guy. You try to yeah. be like Bon Jovi. And how do you like it? Or a Bono or somebody yeah. like bon that. Bon Jovi, eat his heart bon Jovi, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Well, I talked to Bon Jovi just earlier, and he said to me, he's so angry that you look better than him. Yeah, right, yeah. Well, they're very good friends, you they know. They are good friends, and Bon Jovi's got an acting career going with Ali McBeal. But I understand you want to play in his band. Uh, I do. Yeah? I mean, I think it was so satisfying. Imagine, not what? only just to drive the motorcycle on uh, to, his, right. to his set and onto the stage for the video. That's what yeah. I did. Right. But, I mean, to actually play, to be able to entertain 100,000 people in a, in a stadium like he does wow. must be extraordinary. What instrument do you play? I would like to play them all. Oh. I mean, because I'm so bad in reality, I cannot touch You know I what was great, anything. though? That if anybody booed you in any way, you could come off the stage and smash them in the head with your guitar. Absolutely. You see, that was the idea. So right. you, 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 we all should be together on that stage. People so would applaud out together. of fear. <laughs> hey, Otto, check it out. It's funny. You ever wear one of these? Uh, when I did the movie Junior, mm -hmm. I wore earrings. When I played more and more, I became a lady, and I was I was started wearing earrings. Excuse There's me, something really when you nice played about a lady, it. you wore these? Uh, exactly, <laughs> yes. Yeah, sometimes I do that. How do I look in this? You look fantastic. Really? Um, let me give you a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> you better kiss it! I know, Get you're right. There, exactly. <laughs> no, How you feeling, Arnold? Arnold had a very serious accident, you know, a lot of rib injuries. In fact, one rib passed, uh, yeah, pierced your punctured heart. Punctured the, the, the lung, that's ooh, right, yeah. Ooh, ooh, uh, ooh. But, uh, you know, it, this, those things happen, and this, the worst about, the, about an accident like this is that my motorcycle got scratched. So, uh, that, that I hate, because you can never replace motorcycles. Sure. Ribs you can replace. Yeah, you right. get more ribs, so you can eat more ribs, and then maybe they build it back. <laughs> Do something, it builds right. it back. But the yeah. rib injuries are yeah. very painful. Oh, painful. Oh, I'm the worst. I tell you, my wife said, what is going on here? I mean, you know, I, I have to help you up. Uh, yeah, you, you, literally, people have to help you out of bed and yeah. all those things. Mm -hmm. It's like it's, it's, you can't move. You fully recovered now? I'm uh, almost recovered. I was in 90 percent. I still cannot lift as heavy as I did. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm back training hard. Good for you. Doing my cardiovascular training. Oh, please. Look at this guy. Oh, may I? May I? Absolutely. Because before you came out here, Regis was saying that he could beat you up, and I said, I don't, uh -huh. I don't think that he could. You're check, an check instigator. Now I know why to have you on the show. Very what a challenge. Hang on, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Don't be afraid. Don't be jealous. Now flex. Now flex. <laughs> we'll be back with Arnold Schwarzenegger in a moment. Tomorrow on Live, actor Kevin Sorbo. Some members of our studio audience will receive. For the first time, the world-renowned chefs of the American Culinary Federation have awarded their seal of approval to a pasta sauce, Francesco Rinaldi. Brian adds, it works. Imagine a fast, easy, no-heat, all-natural hair removal gel. Try ads at drugstores nationwide. Tomorrow on Live.
Regis and Kelly sit down with Rollerball's Chris Klein. Let's play the game. Then Kelly shares secrets with the star of Andromeda, Kevin Sorbo. I'm a much smaller man than I used to be. Next live with Regis and Kelly. Kiss Kiss Bears with magnetic lips. Buy one for $3.99 and get the second one free when you buy three Hallmark cards. Hurry in. They go fast. There's so much beauty to drink in. Don't let your eyes feeling dry, gritty, irritated stop you from enjoying it. Your eyes deserve better. They deserve Refresh Brand Eye Drops. They're what doctors recommend most. First Refresh relieves and soothes dry eyes, then forms a lasting shield of protection that keeps irritation out and natural moisture in. And since more doctors recommend Refresh, the choice is clear. Refresh for relief that's fast and protection that lasts. Harsh winter weather is murder on my hands, so I use moisturizer. And when my skin's so dry it cracks and bleeds, I use more moisturizer. I use Neosporin. Yeah, but that's for cuts. What do you think those little cracks in your hands are? Neosporin helps heal cuts four days faster than a bandage alone and kills the bacteria that can cause infection. I know it's in here somewhere. <laughs> Keep looking. Help heal winter cuts. Help prevent infection with Neosporin. Every cut, every time. Facts of Life by Lysol. Fact. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was full of cold germs. Fact. Everywhere that Mary went, Lysol spray killed 99.9% .9 of those cold germs. Life demands Lysol. That's a fact. Smile, you got friendship. Smile, you got friendship. Oh, honey mustard, smile. Honey mustard, smile. smile. There's nothing like the sweet and tangy taste of French's honey mustard. Smile, you got French's honey mustard. You know, people know when our guests are going to be here, and so they bring whatever memorabilia they have at home and saving all their lives. Beautiful. Here's an old cover of Muscular Development going back to 1967, and here's Arnold in those days. Look at that. Huh? Those were the days. Oh, my gosh. Steve Reeves is on Steve the cover Reeves to exactly remember him. Yeah, you sure. you still look the same. Do you think that it's the physical fitness that has kept you so together? Well, it helps, you know, if you work out every day and mm -hmm. uh, lift weights, uh, mm -hmm. do the cardiovascular training. Right. But with me now, it used to be that the pressure was on because I was competing. Mm -hmm. You know, now it's uh, because of the films. <laughs> because there's always a shot in sure. the film where the director comes and says, I think in this scene, like in collateral damage, right. you know, in this scene it would be great just this shower scene you with your son it would be great plus I we can see a little bit of your biceps you know, <laughs> but they always throw it's that always in you, know, always, you never you have to always be in, sh in shape you know? but this is like the bible of, uh, of bodybuilding right there and there of course Arnold on the cover of that yep so uh, now, boy. collateral damage you play a firefighter mm -hmm. so uh, firefighters have to be so physically uh, intense because of the uh, amount of equipment they have to lift. I mean, did you actually have to lift that or did they have? Yes, uh, uh, it, it, it was, uh, the, the training was very difficult because I had no idea that those guys are carrying like a hundred pounds of stuff around. Right. I mean, the gear, the belt, the oxygen tank, the helmet, the mask, the, 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 the uniform is very restrictive. I mean, you can't move in this stuff, mm -hmm. and, uh, but it protects you from the fire. Mm -hmm. But I mean, then you have to climb up those ladders and you have to do all those things just to get dressed. Right. To, to get dressed by yourself is like a miracle sure. right. to do, do that. So you really learn very quickly when you walk 10 flights up how difficult it is how and how tough this guy is. And then to are. carry somebody down. Yeah, yeah exactly. And you know what was interesting was that when I, when I uh, chose to, to play a firefighter in this film instead of being a CIA agent, a lot of people said, do you think that the uh, firefighter will be heroic enough? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and now right. after September 11th, They're they the know real heroes. How, sure. how heroic those guys really but are. So I'm gay, they're stuck to that, you know. Mm -hmm. This movie was made a couple of years ago, wasn't it, Arnold? It was, yeah, a year and a half ago. A year and a half the ago. Movie, yeah. And they postponed the opening because it came right on the heels of 9-11, uh, of, uh, which nobody ever thought would happen. That's right. And so now they're releasing it now. Now we're releasing it. So yesterday we had the most fantastic screening. You know, I wanted to do a private screening for the firefighters. Mm -hmm. 
mm. here and also rescue workers and police officers. So we had like 800 firefighters there. It was, it, it was extraordinary, the enthusiasm that we saw there. It was really spectacular screening. It was oh, wonderful. Oh, what yeah. a great idea. Yeah. Incidentally, I saw uh, Rudy Giuliani was talking about 9-11 uh, on the television line, and he said that you were the first one to contribute a million dollars to the yeah, no, I agree. Well, there is a terrorist group involved in, in this uh, movie, right? Absolutely. First of all, let me just say uh, that uh, as soon as this uh, uh, happened here in, in, in New York, I called uh, Giuliani and I said, you know, anything that I can do, uh, I, just let me know what it is, you know, anything. And so the next day, uh, Larry Levy, his uh, right-hand guy, called me and said, could you be on a board? of the Twin Tower Fund, and I said, of course. So, uh, you know, my wife and I, we contributed also the money, like you said, and all this, and then they came in here and uh, visited um, the, the firefighters and Ground Zero and all. It be, I, I just wanted to be, I, I felt like there's something that everyone should do for New York when this, when this whole thing yeah, happened, absolutely. you know, and then, so it's really terrific to be back now and to be here with the film. In the film, as I said, I play a firefighter, sure. which is, which is uh, you know, a guy that, that loves saving lives. And then during this terrorist attack, when he sees his whole family being blown up right in front of his eyes, he changes as a person because he does not get any help from the CIA or from the FBI or from the government, period. So he decides to take the law into his own hands and sneak down through Panama into Colombia mm. and start kicking some serious butt. Well, all right. Now, that is, that's a great setup for the clip. The clip is... This is the point in the movie where you, you go after the terrorist group, the leader, who killed your family, and now you have captured him, and now you're face to face with him. Take a look at the scene from Collateral Damage. Do you think you're the only ones who have a right to fight for independence? Independence to do what? To kill my wife and my son? I remember your face from Los Angeles. That was the face of a man who saved lives. Well, your face has changed. You think your wife and son will recognize you now? I remember your face too. The smile. Just before you killed them. You're gonna pay for that. It seems we're both willing to uh, kill for a cause. So what's the difference between you and I? The difference is... I'm just gonna kill you. I love Arnold. So do I. Everybody loves Otto Schwarzenegger. I think it's going to be a big hit. It opens uh, Friday in theaters all over America. Arnold, great to see you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Great to Take see care you. of yourself. You. Rebecca Romain Stamos, coming up next. We'll be right back. Tomorrow on Live, we'll meet our first special wedding couple. J'avais du mal à trouver le café. General Foods International Coffees. You've seen this before. But never with a diaper like this. Introducing new cloth like love. They're fluffy soft. And best of all, still tough as ever on leak. New cloth like love. Live and learn and then get love. Honey, you're going to be late for school. Gee, Mom, my throat hurts. I don't know if I can go to school. Chloroseptic. It works fast. Maybe too fast. Try new grape chloroseptic for kids. Final boarding call. All passengers, gate 10. Don't be late. Call 976 Wake for a reliable wake up call. Just $2. When well, you can't be late, you've got to call Wake. That 976 W A K E. Call now. What's one of the reasons a relationship lasts? Discover a new world of intimacy with KY Liquid Lubricant. Smoother thanks to its hydro liquid formula. He says I have a very agile. 
mind. KY Liquid, the number one doctor recommended brand. Winter means flakes. We're not talking snow, we're talking winter dandruff. The colder it gets, the worse dandruff gets. Neutrogena T-Gel Intensive Anti-Flake Shampoo fights dandruff three ways. Stop winter dandruff. Neutrogena T-Gel, it works. I'm Alf Money, and if you're looking for a used car, now's a great time to buy one. I have over 400 used cars in inventory. I even had to go out and get another storage lot. Here's what I'm going to do right now from now till Saturday, and it's a great deal. I'll give you zero down, zero payments till spring, and zero interest. That's right, zero interest. So if you're looking for a used car, whether it's a two or $3,000 car or an SUV, whatever type of car you're looking for, I've got it at Monte Ford in Melrose Park. Another news, George Taylor was expected to be promoted today at Cloud Jennings. Mr. Taylor failed to show company officials are concerned. He should have called 976 Wake in the summer for a reliable wake up call. When you can be late, you've got to call Wake 976 Wake. All right, she is a sexy supermodel, a talented actress, and now she stars in the action thriller Rollerball. Here's the beautiful Rebecca Romaine Stamos. I'm such a big fan of Kelly's. I'm, I'm so a happy. fan of yours. And I'm a fan of everybody's. Isn't it wonderful? You. Okay. First of all, Regis, you know how much I love you. Yes. I, I, I think you're the, the best yeah, dressed yeah, man but, in the business. Yeah, but... Today, yeah. you, you kind of look like a village person. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. You are destroying you're just, me. You're, you, all you need is a handlebar mustache and buttless chaps. I'm sorry. I had to say it. Gentlemen, I'm sorry. That's tomorrow's look. <laughs> you see, Gilman, not everybody just loves these looks. Chaps. It really is weird, isn't it? I'm it's sorry, It's the biggest mistake Gilman. I've ever made in my life. <laughs> I gave a week to Gelman to do what he wants because I've annoyed him all these years saying I love the way this guy dresses, this one dresses. Well, let's talk about your new hairdo. Oh, I chopped it. Is the it. wind blowing that long? Oh, I love this. Yeah. I love you. it. Don't you think it's fun? I think women grow their hair long to cut it off. Yeah, Don't, absolutely. I mean, that's the well, whole point. I like it very much, too. Thank I think you. you're terrific with Well, you know, hair. I took a shot at you. Go ahead, take a shot at me. No, I just did. <laughs> <laughs> and, you didn't, and you didn't even notice. <laughs> so you went to the Super Bowl, eh? First I went... First football game ever? My first football game ever. I'm not... It was great. It was... Did you follow everything? Did no. You? I had no idea what was going on. I don't know what... I mean, I, the greatest seats. I'm right there at the 50-yard line, and I had no... I just kept going for hot dogs. Oh, oh that's the whole God. point. Really good hot Nobody dogs. explained yeah. the game to well, you. Well, Chris Klein and Ella Cool J, they couldn't be bothered. Oh, and, the whole cast was there. We were there. all there together, and John was with me, and John doesn't know anything. John Stamos doesn't know football. <laughs> How embarrassing, Gilman. These seats were just wasted on but us. I felt so game, guilty. I felt like did you stay for the whole game? Yeah. Well, then you must have seen the setup. I mean, it all depended on this guy's kick. I know. It was, well, it was fantastic. exciting, wasn't it? Oh, my gosh. I'm, you know, I put my son to bed at that very moment. I sat you through the whole the thing, and I went, okay, I see. I see where this is going. It's going into overtime now. And, yeah. And, you know, because... Three minutes in football is five hours. Yeah, exactly. So I figured I had plenty of time to put Michael to bed. And I hear screaming downstairs, screaming and yelling, and people are screaming. They were so excited. And my husband ran upstairs, you missed it, everything is very exciting. I didn't really care, but, you know. <laughs> See, Kelly, you and me, yeah. we're, you know, peas in a pod. You should have both been watching Sex in the City like I was. <laughs> if I had touched that, that television, my hands would have been removed. Well, pause, we'll come right back. I like that. Monday on Live, pop singer Mandy Moore. Have you considered Singular? Talk to your doctor. Or for more information about Singular, call 1 888 Merck 99. J'avais du mal à trouver le café. Sweet Creamy General Foods International Coffees. Passion. International style. I have to go now. If you've always got to go, ask your doctor about Detrol LA. 
It's been proven effective for overactive bladder. You need a break? Not right now. You shouldn't take it if you have stomach, urinary, or glaucoma problems. The most common side effects are dry mouth, constipation, abdominal pain, and headache. And I don't have to go like Detrol LA, when you've always got to go. Here's our jingle for goldfish. Yes, baked and not fried goldfish. A wholesome snack that smiles back until you bite their heads off. Did you know they're made with real cheese, even though they look like fishies? A snack that smiles back at goldfish. The first great movie of the year is The Count of Monte Cristo. It's astonishingly good. You're under arrest. I am innocent. Ah! Extraordinary, breathtaking, and everything you go to the movies for. There will be justice. Jim Caviezel, Guy Pearce, Richard Harris. No matter what happens, I will find you. The Count of Monte Cristo, directed by Kevin Reynolds. Rated PG-13, now playing. If you've got bad credit or no credit, call this 24-hour number now. Because we own the finance company, we can get you approved regardless of your credit history. Call 1-800-884-0974. It's an automated credit approval hotline with no embarrassing questions or salesmen. There's over 2,500 cars and trucks available. Why pay higher interest rates just because you've had credit problems? We can get you the car you want and the rate you want. Call 1-800-884-0974. <laughs> now, Rebecca is in a new movie called Rollerball, as we were talking about earlier. It's a remake of a, of a film that had a futuristic look years yeah, it's, ago. it's more of an update. It's a completely <laughs> different movie than the original. Uh -huh. The original was much more intellectual and very, very violent. And this is more of like, it's a backstage story. It's not mm -hmm. so much about this violent sport called Rollerball. It's, what, it's the creepy story that happens off stage. Mm -hmm. What are they riding now? I mean, they rode well, roller I rode, I, I, I rode a motorcycle in this, in mm -hmm. this movie, and Chris Klein and the rest of the cast ride uh, uh, rollerblades, mm -hmm. and LL Cool J is a motorcycle rider. Do they hire you, a stunt person, to ride the motorcycle, or do you have to learn? I, I learned, and I had to do some of the stuff myself, but of course, it was a stunt person doing, you know. Yeah, but you learned at least. Yeah, no, I learned. You can handle it on your own? I had what two days like? to learn. Oh, boy. What I don't understand is, in every movie you do, they've got to put scales on you. They've got to put scars on you. They have to disfigure. If I was Rebecca Romaine Stamos, I would take off my clothes and let people photograph uh -oh. me. Well, no. <laughs> That's what I would do. But Kelly, I've, like, I've been doing that for 10 years. <laughs> like, I, this is totally okay. She did that. She's yeah, tired I did of that. that. I'm tired. And everyone knows that. I, it's no I just, mystery I anymore. I hate the way they like have to disfigure Rebecca Romaine oh, Stamos. thank you. Thanks for looking. You're, you know, I got my back. I got thank your you. back. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> So, uh, you're a good guy, a bad guy? You must be a good guy. Uh, right? I'm not a good guy. At the beginning, you think I might be a bad guy, but uh -huh. it turns out I'm a good guy, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm taking one for the team, and uh, I play a Dutch woman. Does this movie take place now or in the future? The, the original took place the hundreds future. of years in the future, and this one takes place in the not-too-distant future. And so what is the crowd like? Are they animals? Do they want blood when they see the... Yes. And, and it's it's sort of um, it's a little creepy because it's it, it kind of relates to the reality the reality shows that we have on TV. Right. You know, I mean, it's the story is that the, the the corporate owners of this of these teams realize that the more bloodshed there is on the track, you know, the the higher their ratings will go. And it's kind of like reality programming nowadays, right. sure. where you kind of feel like. Uh, okay, they're not going to stop until somebody dies on one of these shows, and mm. you know the entire country is watching. So it's kind of uh, it's a little creepy actually because yeah. right. it's kind of now. Well, we have a scene from the movie in this particular one. Rebecca saves her co-star Chris Klein from a violent. It's a great accent. Oh, thank you. Russian? Uh, no, she was she was written as a Russian woman, and and John McTiernan let me decide which nationality I wanted to play her, and I decided to play her as a Dutch woman, because I, I am Dutch, and the accent comes fairly easy. Yeah, well, you so can't beat terrific. a good love story. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> 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 All right, Roll the Ball opens Friday in theaters everywhere. When we get back, we're going to tell you how you can have that rock and roll look. John Seymour's oh. Rock and Roll Tomorrow on Live, Rebecca's co-star in Roll the Ball, actor Chris Klein. The Hallmark Kiss Kiss Bears with magnetic lips. Buy one for $3.99 and get the second one free when you buy three Hallmark cards. Hurry in.
They go fast. There's so much beauty to drink in. Don't let your eyes feeling dry, gritty, irritated stop you from enjoying it. Your eyes deserve better. They deserve Refresh brand eye drops. They're what doctors recommend most. First Refresh relieves and soothes dry eyes, then forms a lasting shield of protection that keeps irritation out and natural moisture in. And since more doctors recommend Refresh, the choice is clear. Refresh for relief that's fast and protection that lasts. Subscribe today to the Sunday Chicago Tribune and you'll discover a world of wondrous, surprising, amazing things. Each Sunday, you'll experience music, dance, theater, and movies. Relaxing getaways, both near and far. Penetrating perspectives of events that affect each of us. All for just $1.50 an issue. A discounted rate guaranteed for 24 weeks. Call now and get advice and tips to live healthier and happier. Inside looks at the economy and business. And save 25 cents off the newsstand price. Plus, call the number on your screen right now to lock in your savings. And we'll also send you this adorable Tribune teddy bear and his seven holiday sweaters. Get the in-depth news and entertainment the Sunday Tribune brings you. Plus free delivery and the Tribune bear all for just $1.50 a week. Call now. If you've been denied credit by a car dealer, maybe it's time to go to the finance company and get pre-approved before you go car shopping. They approve my loan within 24 hours, no hassle. Thanks to GSAC, we have a payment that we can afford and a car that we can rely on. GSAC has over $10 million to lend. You'll be pre-approved for your car loan. Then you can go to the dealer and pick out the car you want. Call this number now and get pre-approved direct from the finance company. Loan representatives are on duty now. I got my loan approved in 24 hours and just the car that I wanted. Yeah, here it is, the rock and roll look. And here helping us get the rock and roll look is the one and only woman who styles music industry's hottest stars, and she gave Regis the rock glam. Please welcome <laughs> June Ambrose, stylist to the stars. Nice to see you again, June. Yes, well, the great thing about this outfit is that anything goes. Good. It's revolutionary, it's rock and roll, uncontrived, anything you want what to do. What else did you think about when you were... You can do suits. There but you when go. you do this suit, you can break it up. It's always stripes. Well, a lot stripes, of stripes make you look slimmer. Okay. Which is great. And taller. Yes. Yeah. Beeble, Long. fabulous. Chrome heart. Chrome heart. Really big. Mm -hmm. Uncontrived. Tight and sexy is what's into. Arnold mm -hmm. was impressed with the chrome heart I have in the back of this yes, vest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. knows about that. He wanted it. I said, no, get out of here. <laughs> And accessories. Accessories are a must. The biker look, the downtown mm -hmm. look is really, really hot. Those hot official edges. biker shoes, did you see the shoes he had on? Yes, they, they were great, but these yeah. are even better. Because a lot of chrome around them, huh? They're chrome art. Yeah. Which are great. And you great. can wear this with a suit as well. And the belt buckles, are they a big deal? Ornate. Big and big and aggressive is what's in. It's, wow. it's very army-like. Now, where do you go for things like this? Where do you find these big, chunky biker pieces? Do you have to go to a biker <clears throat> surplus or... You can go to biker stores. You can go to, like, you know, odd end stores. Mm -hmm. This is partic this particular brand is Chrome Heart. But, don't, mm -hmm. you know, you can go to any so kind So, I of guess Chrome Heart is one of the premier brands? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so for, really, for where, where would stores. you go to find something like this? Like odds and end shops. You can even go to Army, Navy spots. You Army, know. Navy yeah. spots? It's a big business now, isn't it? Yeah. Wouldn't mm -hmm. I find this in Banana Republic? Or you can even do you can even do, you can go to even like a surplus and do like chains, just biker mm -hmm. chains. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. And the little beret, this is good? Yeah, I'm really you into You look cute as a, yeah. as yeah, a button there. Very... And the glasses are very important, yeah, too. Very big. And I... layers, lots of layers. Lots of layers, of but course. But don't be contrived. Uh, right. that's, are you kidding Wear me? Wear clothes, wrinkles, roll around, you know. Just, don't be impressive. Country look tomorrow. There you oh, go. Oh, please. We'll be right back in a moment. <laughs> Just read your info on our website. Live will return in a moment. Have you considered Singulair? Talk to your doctor. Or for more information about Singulair, call 1 888 Merck 99. J'avais du mal à trouver le café. Sweet Creamy General Foods International Coffees. Passion International Style. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Gotta go, gotta go. 
I have to go now. If you've always got to go, ask your doctor about Detrol LA. It's been proven effective for overactive bladder. You need a break? Not right now. You shouldn't take it if you have stomach, urinary, or glaucoma problems. The most common side effects are dry mouth, constipation, abdominal pain, and headache. And I don't have to go right now. Detrol LA. When you've always got to go. Here's our jingle for goldfish. Yes, baked and not fried goldfish. A wholesome snack that smiles back until you bite their heads off. Did you know they're made with real cheese, even though they look like fishies? A snack that smiles back goldfish. What does Valentine's Day mean to you? Love me tender. Love me sweet. Never let me go. Love her. Support her. Never ever leave her. Cool dude. And he's all mine. Call me and whisper sweet nothings in my ear. I got my man who could ask for anything more. I got a love bug, and I think it's contagious. Be mine. Be my Valentine. Let your fingers do the financing. Dial 1-800-YES-YES-YES for guaranteed financing. Call Clifford Chrysler Plymouth Jeep for instant new and used car financing. Over 500 cars in stock, including a huge selection of used cars, trucks, and vans. Even if you have no credit, bad credit, or worse, call 1-800-YES-YES-YES. You can drive a new car or a great used car now. Clifford Chrysler Plymouth Jeep, Buffalo Grove, 24 hours a day. Earlier in the show, we talked about the guy with the longest ear hair. Here he is, four inches. Since then, we have discovered yet one more person with longer ear hairs than that. Take a look at this. All right, Gilman. Gilman never stops. Something wrong with this place. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow show. Go yeah, ahead. Sorry about Chris, Chris Line. Line. Yeah. And They're your family. That's why you serve them all-natural Tyson chicken with no additives and minimal processing. Tyson is what your family deserves. Some members of our studio audience will receive Little Debbie Big Snacks. Bigger snacks for bigger appetites. Buy the box or convenience single pack because sometimes you just need a little more. Your love of freedom hasn't changed because you had kids. Only the way you express it. Chuck E. Cheese's, where a kid can be a kid and a parent can be a part. Bye-bye. Chris Klein tomorrow, Kevin Sorbo, and we just read the week wraps up.